That famous Thai curry, Musman curry, is usually done with a secondary cut of beef so it can cook long and slow. But what if you want a family-friendly dinner and you want to do it any day of the week? Well, I've got you covered with this meatball musman curry dish. It is a standout dish and my family favourite at the moment. So I've got some beautiful beef mince here. You can see that it's slightly marbled with fat, which is what you want so these meatballs stay super juicy. I'm also going to add a little bread to this and this is going to help them bind nicely. So into a bowl, I'll add some stale bread. This is just some old sourdough bread and I'm just going to break it up into little pieces. It's also a great way to use up bread that otherwise would go into the bin. Okay, in with our coconut milk. I'm just going to use a splash of the coconut milk and grab a spoon and give that a mix just to submerge all of that bread so it can absorb all of that coconut milk. Now, in total, you need about 500 mils of the coconut milk. All right, let's turn to our sauce. I've got a pot on. We just want to add a splash of vegetable oil and we'll start by frying off our musman curry paste. Now, use a good quality curry paste for this. You want about a third of a cup and we'll pop that straight into our oil and then we just want to fry that off. So we want to really extract a lot of those flavours that are in our musman curry paste. So fry that off until it almost splits. Now while that's cooking away, let's get on to our beef meatball. So into the beef I'll add a good pinch of salt. And to give it an extra pop of flavour, some lemongrass. And I'm just going to be using the base of the lemongrass. This is the most tender part. And what I'm doing is just finely grating it straight into our beef mince. I don't want to be adding big chunks of lemongrass to this. Half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. I love the lemony, balmy smell of lemongrass. So I'm not going to waste this. All I'm going to do is just bruise, scrunch that up, and that'll flavour our curry too. So in with the lemongrass. To this, I'll also add some coriander root. Again, I don't like wasting, so we're going to use these coriander roots and stalks. We'll just finely chop the coriander roots and stalks and we'll take it all the way up to the leaves. We'll reserve the leaves for later on and we'll throw all of these roots and stalks straight into our pot. That's smelling fantastic. All right, last thing we need to add here is this bread and coconut mixture. See how all of that liquid has gone. I'll start with a spoon and break up that bread. So now we'll just get our hands and really work that meat and just squish all of that bread into our beef mince. All right, that's looking good. We'll just pop that to the side for one moment while we finish off the sauce. You can see that this is split slightly. It smells fragrant, it's ready to go. So in with our coconut milk, and I'll also add a splash of water and I don't want to waste any of that coconut milk. So I'm just going to clean that jug out with some water and we'll add that to the sauce. All right, before we start rolling the meatballs, I'll add some potatoes. Again, a classic ingredient in musman curry. I've just got some small little Desiree potatoes. You could use chat potatoes too. I'm going to cut them in half just to speed up the cooking process. I'm also leaving the skin on. Loads of flavour in the skin. So we've just given them a wash and they go straight into our delicious musman curry sauce. Give that a bit of a stir and we'll pop the lid on that. And just let that bubble away while we roll the meatballs. So I'm going to make walnut size meatballs. Not too big, not too small, but really you can make them any size you like. And I'm not frying these off at all. I'm placing them straight into our delicious musman curry sauce. So all we need to do is roll them and then they'll poach in the sauce and the results are just amazing. All right, let's check these meatballs out. Ooh, they are perfectly cooked. 
smells sensational. And you just need to check that these potatoes are cooked. So just pierce it through the centre. Nothing worse than an undercooked potato. Now, whenever I'm making a Thai curry like this, I do like to finish it off with what I like to call the holy trinity, just to season it all up. A combination of fish sauce, just a tiny splash, along with some acidity, so from some lime. I like loads of lime for this. So that's that combination of salty from the fish sauce, acidity and that tang from the lime, and then classic sugar. So those combinations are just that finishing touch to any curry. And just give that a mix to dissolve the sugar. And what I like to do is just pour about half of it in, give it a stir through, have a taste and just to check if it needs a little more. Absolutely delicious. All right, let's plate this up on a bed of rice. So jasmine rice is preferred. And these lovely juicy beef meatballs, place them on top. Feeling quite generous, so I'm gonna serve three or four. Don't forget those potatoes. You can see they're like roughly the same size and lashings of that sauce will just drizzle over the top. Now, perfect as is, but if you want to make it even more bright than it already is, a combination of chilli. So just finely slice that chilli for a pop of colour. And also, if you're wanting a little extra heat, some coriander, a few sprigs. You don't even need to chop it, just a few sprigs over the top. We'll just place them down along with the chilli. And then for some crunch, I love the addition of peanuts sprinkling over the top and some crispy fried shallots. Meatballs, not Italian style, Thai style with that musman curry. You know what, that's taking two very normal dishes like meatballs and musman curry, bringing them together for a fabulous, very quick family meal.